There has been some massive drama going on on the Maple Legends Discord server. Apparently, two Brazilian groups, Favela and Sura, are beefing with each other. And here are the things I found in chat. Not really sure what's going on here because the GMs have deleted a lot of them. Not sure why they do that. And also, I censored out a lot of irrelevant things. People love to distract from the actual entertainment value of these conversations. I don't know why. But yeah, seems like someone got bullied for saying Sura was better than Favela. And then Mr. Ryan Lights here stepped in and had a few words on behalf of his friend. But again, those messages were removed and he got warned by the GMs for chiming in on a fight that he's not a participant of. All this is super interesting. And honestly, I love free gossip on Maple Legends just like anything else. So if I find out any more information on these guild gang wars, I'll make sure to update you guys. Anyways, back onto the main topic of today, which we are making some rat mouths and raccoon masks. I have this 5dex 2 slot rat mouth that I've been too scared to scroll. Since I'm feeling lucky today, let's put it to the test. Oh, gotta make sure we don't use the white scroll here. And it passed! Let's go! Let's go for the second one here. Yeah, feeling lucky today. This mask on the market right now, plus 7 dex perfect, is worth about 140 to 150 mil. Feeling lucky, feeling good. Let's see what else we can scroll here. So I found two friends of mine who were just training as CDs. I asked them if they wanted to scroll something for me, and they were all pretty scared. They're like, no, we don't want to boom it. They are new to Maple Legends and haven't had the pleasure of booming things yet, so I decided to ask them to scroll my raccoon masks for me. Currently, I'm rocking a 11 accuracy white raccoon mask, and I want to try to make at least 15 or 17 accuracy masks. A clean raccoon mask has 3 accuracy, and if they hit all 7 70%, that's 17 accuracy in total. If they land 6, that's still 15 accuracy, better than what I have right now. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I was a bit too optimistic with 770s landing in a row. Now they are both at 5 out of 6. Why don't we try to land 30% on the last slot and set? Fingers crossed, let's see how this goes. Fuck! It blew up! I still got one mask left, but I don't know if that was a good decision. They both failed. Man. I guess now I have a 13 accuracy mask, which is plus 2 from what I used to have. Not bad, but I'm not exactly satisfied, though it was good to give them their first scrolling experience. I'm still itching to keep scrolling though. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, I just bought a bunch of Timeless and Reverse Bardish and Tabarzans. Tarbazans? I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the timeless and reverse one hand and two hand axes. These are super cheap on the market because no one ever uses axes for heroes. And I have a lot of dark scrolls here. Let's see how many of these 30s I can land.
Wow. <laughs> Why did I make this when I was trying to make a weapon from before? This is actually really good because this was made on a perfect attack reverse Tarbazan. 114 is the max attack you can get on this axe, and with 4 30% on it, this is endgame material. I wonder how much I can sell it for. With that being said guys, I will put an end to the video here. We did a lot of scrolling this video, lots going on. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you liked it, make sure to do the usual, subscribe and like the video. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Take care.